Amen. 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 He had made following very easy. Amen. 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 That's none other than our pastor, Superintendent Lorenzo Edge. Amen. Amen. He's God's man. Amen. 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 And after the next speaking voice you will hear, amen, would be the shepherd of this house, the voice of this house. Amen. Superintendent Lorenzo Edge. Amen. So I want you to, please, ma'am, and please, sir, punch your hand toward this pulpit and say, God bless, God bless the man of God. God. Say, God bless, God bless the man of God. Now this time I want you to say it with conviction. Say, God bless, God bless the man of God. Hallelujah. Isn't he wonderful? Isn't God wonderful? Hallelujah. Glory. Amen. He's wonderful. Isaiah said he's wonderful. Hallelujah. He's a counselor. He's a mighty God. He's our everlasting father. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. God is good. And he's good all the time. Amen. Has he failed anybody yet? Has he failed you yet? Amen. He's a God that never fails us. Amen. Whatever we want, we can get it. Whatever we want, he got. We, he, he's got it. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we're just so glad to be here tonight, aren't you? Amen, amen, amen. We just thank God. He's yet keeping us. Amen. Mighty, wonderful time in the Lord on Sunday. Amen. I, I just got the way I can get a little sleep. Amen. Amen. Just got the way I can got a little sleep. I'm trying to come back down off of that high. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Amen. Amen. It's something when you get under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Ain't no telling what might happen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Honor to honor. Whom honor is due protocol had already been established. Amen. We're going to go right into the word. Amen. Amen. That'll be all right. Amen. Or, 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 or can I start a Holy Ghost ride? Hey, hey. Hallelujah. Hey, God. Don't y'all start nothing. It won't be nothing. 
Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, God. Somebody say, Lord, have mercy. Hallelujah. Glory. Amen. Amen. Y'all behave yourself. Amen. Let's hear what God say the Lord tonight. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise in the name of Jesus. Thank you for this time, God. Oh, God, for you allow me to share the word with your people in the name of Jesus. God, I pray that you crucify me right now. Oh, God, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Not me, oh, Lord, but you. It's all about you in the name of Jesus. Bless these hearts tonight who's going to receive your word, and we'll give you glory for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. To the book of First Peter. First chapter, beginning at the 18th verse. Amen. If you would just stand just for a reading, the reading of the word. Amen. I won't ask you to stand no more. Amen. First Peter, the first chapter, beginning at the 18th verse through the 21st. Knowing that you were not redeemed with corruptible things like silver or gold for your aimless conduct received by tradition from your father. But with the precious blood of Christ as a lamb without blemish and without spot. He, in, he indeed was foreordained foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last time for you. Who through him believe in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him, gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God. Amen. Amen. God's word for the people of God. Amen. Amen. Look at your neighbor. I ain't going to ask you no more. Look at your neighbor and say the blood did it. Look at your other neighbor and say the blood did it. I don't know what it, what it took for you, but the blood did it for me. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Many of us grew up in the church. We've been in church all our lives. And around the saints of old that would plead the blood of Jesus. They didn't go to the doctor very often. They didn't buy a lot of medicine. They didn't deal with a lot of issues like we deal with today. They just simply pleaded the blood of Jesus. Even in the midst of their crisis and in the midst of their going through, they would simply plead the blood of Jesus. We don't do that no more. If I could look at the blood from a natural point of view, the blood is the most important fluid in the human body. It sustains as well as maintains all human life functions. Without, the, without blood, there is no organ within your body that can, that, that can function. The blood is the vital fluid within the body of ours that causes our every organ and every biological system to operate. Without the blood, there can be no life. The blood circulates through every portion of the human body and bring with it a proper nourishment and, and nutrition that is needed to maintain life. The blood, if you ever bled, the blood is red or scarlet in color, which flows from our, your arteries. The blood is dark and purple in color, 
when it flows from your veins. So I just believe there's a difference between arteries and veins. Blood has a salty taste and a peculiar faint odor with the temperature of 98.6. I don't have time to tell you the function and the importance of the red cell and the white cell, better known as the red and the white corpuscle. Amen. Amen. Can I give you a science class tonight? But if you would allow me to elaborate just a second on the importance, on the importance of the white cell. The white cell has a complete different function than the red cell. White cells are the protectors of your body. White cells do not confuse themselves with the artery veins and, and red cells as the red cells do. White cells can penetrate the wall of the blood vessel. Uh, it can find their way in, into the other areas of the body. This is important. Why? But why? Because the blood white cells fight infection. Uh, they fight diseases and they fight foreign bacteria. For example, for example, we when we get cut, the white cell proceeds immediately to the injured area that is affected. The function to is, is to form a protective wall, what we call a scam around the injured area. And the wall keeps the outside bacteria from infecting the injured area of your body. White cells cover the infected area and blots out the infected so that your body will not be harmed. Blood is very important substance. However, however, there's some things that the human blood cannot do. Human blood is limited in many respects. For example, for example, when it is exposed to air, Human blood dries up and loses power. But the blood of Jesus. Somebody say, but the blood of Jesus. Never lose. Never dries up and never lose its power. Human blood can cover the entire body. But it cannot cover the, 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 Satan, the stain of sin. Human blood can cover afflicted areas of your body, but it cannot cover the wounded areas of your soul. Human blood cannot justify. It cannot rectify and it cannot just purify. Cannot sanctify. Hallelujah. The text says, for much as you know that you were redeemed with corruptible things, as silver and, and as gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your father. But with the precious blood of Christ as a lamb without blemish and without spot. In other words, God did not go to the auction and put in a bid for us. We are not bought with silver or gold. We were bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Precious in the text, te pre pre precious in the text means costly and valuable, highly esteemed and beloved. It is a critical thing here because he talks about the costly. And costly is, does in a sense, value. You would think we were overpriced because we are the value that God has in us. It's not how much the land is worth. It really, it really, it really, how bad somebody, it really how bad somebody wants to buy it. Really, the value of the land is based on the land itself. It's based on the supply and demand. Somebody got to want you badly to know where you're coming from. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For him to just step right in. And don't even have to bid for us. In other words, the devil didn't bid $20 and God bid 50 The devil didn't bid 60 and God bid 80 The devil didn't bid 110 and 100 and God said 200 Jesus, Jesus didn't even bother to do that. He just stepped right and laid down and said, can't nobody, can't no money even come close. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus said, I'm going to sell it this once and for all. I'm going to sell it once and for all. I'm not going around, going around and have a debate with the devil over what's mine in the first place. When I lay down my money, when I lay down my money, he got the walk. Why? Because I'm doing it with the blood. Somebody say the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It wasn't silver and gold that set you free. It was the blood of Jesus. It wasn't silver and gold that atoned you. It was the blood of Jesus. It wasn't the silver and gold that reconcile you to God. It was the blood of Jesus. Somebody said the blood did it. The blood, 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 blood did it. It wasn't silver and gold that justified you. It was the blood of Jesus. It wasn't silver and gold that redeemed you, but, but it was the blood of Jesus. Jesus stepped into the slave market, bought me and you out of the slave market and told the devil you can't touch this you can't have this he told the devil you can't bid high enough ah thank you Jesus to get what the blood had been intended to buy and I declare that ain't no devil in hell can come by the blood of Jesus hallelujah this costly precious blood Hallelujah. It's easy, it's easy seen when we understand it was, the, it was foreordained. It was designated beforehand. How to position or to function. In other words, before the foundation of the world, God had already ordained. Hallelujah. He had us on his mind. We were not an afterthought. He had us on our mind. God always knew he was going and what he's going to do for us. You see, I got a transfusion, a blood transfusion at that. My mom and my daddy's blood don't run in me anymore. So the word became flesh and only flesh can bleed. Hallelujah. Jesus said, I got this price. He can't meet. I got the price. He can't pay. By my blood is more valuable than the whole world. Hallelujah. So he can't bring anything into play. He can't back, he can't back me off from what I, for what I shed my blood for. Paul said, when I were yet a sinner, Christ died for you and me. Hallelujah. Can I fast forward just for a bit? How much more then? Now that I have, I have value. That's why Jesus has declared he would never leave me, nor forsake. I asked Jesus a question, why won't you leave me? He, say, he answered and said, I paid too much for you. Mm, cost me too much to walk away from you now. Hallelujah. I'm not going to give up on you now. 
Now God had manifested it and he had to bring it into pass. Hallelujah. The invisible God became visible in the person of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Touch somebody and say 2019. It's going go, it's to be my year of visibility. This is the what? This is the year. Ah, uh, when all your hope, when all your hope and expectation that the rest of the blood of Jesus is about to be visible. Hallelujah. 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 I've been bought with a price. I believe in the way I've been bought. Say to your neighbor, I don't know who you're looking at. I'm a believer now. I've been bought with the blood of Jesus. I've been bought with the blood of Jesus. Jesus did not die to stay dead when you hopes have been shattered. He said, pick him up back on the blood of Jesus whenever you're going through when you're going through your life pick them up on the blood of Jesus somebody shout glory somebody shout glory again somebody say yeah yeah hallelujah Every promise that was broken, for everything that was disappointing, for every risk that you took, God said, take it again, take it again. I'm not through with you yet. Take it again. But the next time you take a risk, Take it in the name of Jesus. Take it in the name in the blood of Jesus. Because he's getting ready to bring you to another level. Give God a high five. Somebody a high five. Right now. It's time to inspect again. Anybody been expecting? Oh, anybody been expecting? Expect again. Because it's on the way. I don't know what you've been expecting. But it's right around the corner. It's right up the street. Hold on to your expectation. Hold on to your expectation. It's coming and it's on the way. Hallelujah. It's time. Somebody says time. Pull off your sackcloth and your ashes. What happened in your life? You got to look to the future. The future is in the blood of Jesus. Your future is in the blood of Jesus. Your future will be on the power of the blood of Jesus. Every once in a while, I like to read the book of, on heroes. Take your time, preacher. I don't know how the heroes is going to come out. When I'm reading every now and then, I'm tempted to go to the back of the book to see who's going to end up alive. Can you allow me to go back? to the back of the book because I heard John say there were three that bear witness in the earth the spirit the water and the blood the three the three agreed in one the water is a symbol of the word that might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the water by the word but the life of the flesh 
is the blood and the life of Jesus. The word of God is in the blood. In communion, you don't take the bread, but you got to take the symbol of the blood. Because when you receive the bread, the crucified word of God, and when you take the wine, the blood which is he willingly shed, the blood, hallelujah, sprinkled over the word, it brings life. Can I fast forward one more time? The spirit comes alive when we honor the blood. You got to have the blood in order to handle the word. You need the blood to handle the word. That's why old folks will plead the blood. You got to plead the blood on the word. Hallelujah. You can't plead the blood by itself. You got to plead the blood on the word. I heard John say, except ye eat my flesh and drink my blood, you have no life. Blood will release from death, hell, and the grave. The blood is the power all by itself. Touch two people and say, there's power in the blood. Power, top power in the blood. I don't believe they heard it. Say it again. There's power in the blood. <laughs> Hallelujah. The word says they overcame by the word, by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. I, I, I looked in the book of Revelation and I'm about through. I saw that you came out all right. You're going to be all right. Because I checked the back of the book. Anybody ever been in the book of Revelation? I checked the back, back of the book. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it said, you're going to be all right. Because ain't no devil big enough to mess with the blood. Look at your own body. When you look at your own body, you can understand that the blood brings life, brings nourishment. It cleans your body. It brings growth to your body. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The blood is mobile in fluid. It's not like other fluids. The blood is moving through your body right now. In normal bodies, you got about five quarts of blood. Touch somebody and say five quarts. Look at somebody and say, you got five quarts. You can live with five quarts. Biblically, five represents grace. I got five quarts. I got grace running through my whole body. Hallelujah. As the heart circulates, the blood every 23 seconds. Is y'all learning anything? Oh, I need to stop right there. I need to give a pop quiz. Hallelujah. The blood circulates every 23 hours. It feeds the cells. It take away the waste. Touch somebody and say, God is feeding you and moving the waste. He is feeding and moving. And moving and feeding. And as I said earlier, and the blood, you got white cells. And they are few in number than the red cells. When something attacks they go to fighting in the midst of the blood. They fight off infection. They multiply like soldiers. They get real bad. The more the devil hits you, the more the blood will rise. Somebody touch somebody and say, 22 seconds? 
in 23 seconds, I'm going to be all right. I might be down right now, but I'm going to be all right in 23 seconds. The devil hit me, but 20, 23 seconds later, I was all right. I got a praise in the law in the name of Jesus. 23 seconds, I got the victory. In 23 seconds, I got healed. In 22 seconds, whatever I was in, I came out. Just in 23 seconds. Won't God do it? Right now. Won't he do it? Right now. Hey, God. The blood. The blood, the blood. Give somebody another high five for the last time and say, neighbor, the blood did it. Neighbor, the blood did it. The blood did it. The blood bought me. And the blood bought you. The blood healed me. The blood made me. The blood lifted me. Come on, tell God, thank you for the blood. The blood. The blood did it. I got power now. Because the blood did it. Celebrate the blood. Come on, celebrate the blood. The blood of Jesus did it. The blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus did it. I'm through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Sing it. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Father, we thank you. Even right now, God. Thank you for your word. God, we realize your blood did it for us. And God, we give you glory and praise right now. In the name of Jesus. Your blood still works. Your blood 
still has power. Yeah. And God, we thank you. The blood, the blood. Your blood that gives me still washes. Mm, yeah. your, your blood From still saves. Today. In the name the blood, of Jesus, yeah. we give you glory. In Jesus' name, it will never lose. Amen. Amen. The blood. We're getting ready. Yeah. To